Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got another unboxing video for you. And as you can see, it's another Civivi. But this is a, a newer model. This is an older model that I've wanted for a long time and just never could bring myself to buy. And it's the, forget the focus, the Praxis CAO3F. It's OD green, G10 handle, black stainless steel liners black stone wash 9 cr 18 mov blade so that's that's the difference the black stainless steel liners now if you remember the original ones most of the models have gold liners that's why i never bought it but let's get this thing open and um using the artisan cutlery sea snake and I've noticed the way I've been carrying it, my belt buckle is rubbing on the scale there. I'll have to change it up a little bit. But yeah, this is in one of the, the Praxis, one of the first four originals that Civivi came out with. And it's one I kind of wanted, but I just didn't like those gold liners. And we all know what's in the, you get the pouch. The cleaning cloth you get paperwork you get a couple of stickers this has the new stickers in it which i kind of i like those but yeah let's get this thing out so here it is it looks pretty pretty nice got quite a, get some oil all over it I like the OD green look. G10 scales. It's a bigger knife. Deep carry pocket clip. Flat flat screws are flush. Kind of the old style clip. It worked pretty good. Yeah. Backspacer. Lanyard hole. Pocket clips left or right handed. Yeah, where these got the black scales on this, the originals were gold. It didn't matter what color you got, they were gold. And I just didn't like them, so I never got the Praxis. Every time I'd see one in a video or something, I'm like, man, I like that knife, but I just don't want that gold liners. So let's check the blade out. Action. Got jumping on a flipper tab. It comes out pretty good nice nice wide blade blade 1.25 inch and a quarter tall real high flat grind and it feels feels very thin behind the edge feels pretty thin but I think that's a cool looking blade. Drop point. You got this swedge that comes all the way down. You got decent finger choil. Decent jimping on top. Although kind of short on the jimping. But yeah. Civivi's black wash finish on it. Which I have several Civivis with the black wash. They've all been holding up good. Liner lock. Lockup's good. Boy. There's absolutely no play. Let's try. Not really drop shutty, but nice and smooth. A little flick and they, then it shuts. Yeah. Obviously, it's a flipper with a flipper tab. One way of deployment. I mean, you can open it like that. But the flipper works pretty pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you, you know, for being one of the, the first four models that they came out with, it's pretty nice. Yeah. It's it's a larger, larger nice, though. Plenty of room. 
kind of handle but this right here I, I prefer kind of a straighter handle the front choil here is okay but um, fits my hand my fingers fall right in those spots nice no issues good finger trail to choke up on yeah check it out liner is a heavily skeletonized Right there is the only branding, any marks on the blade, the 9CR 18MOV, very small, way BB does it, I like that. Um, I like 9CR 18MOV, some people don't like it, you know, the alphabet soup, steel, it's nothing like 8CR 13MOV, I have a few... You know, quite a few 9CRs, they work excellent. Edge retention's, you know, decent, easier to sharpen. It, it probably doesn't retain an edge as long as D2, but it's a whole lot easier to sharpen. Yeah, so VV Praxis, so. There's a million videos out on this, so I'll make this quick. This is some general specs. And some size comparisons, and then I'm gonna start carrying this. But yeah, I got an overall length of the, on this one of 8.45, so almost eight and a half. These are one inch squares, so you can kind of line them up. Blade length is 3.75. This is probably my longest blade, I'm pretty sure it is. The blade height width this way. It's 1.25. Blade thickness on this is only 0 0.11. So it starts out pretty thin. And you got this long flat grind. Yeah. I can foresee this being a good slicer. Handle length is 4.7 inches. Which is plenty long. And handle height this way. Widest spot is 1 inch. Handle thickness is 0 0.51. And weight, it's a little chunky. It's at 4.42. And we can double check that real fast. Um, my scale gets 4.41. Yeah, it's pretty close. It is probably... Probably what they have listed is probably dead on. It's probably my scales off. But yeah. Doesn't feel too bad. Let's check the blade stock. I just changed the battery in this, so I'm on millimeters. Well let's do millimeters. I never do millimeters. I get three Two, yeah, three millimeters. Let's do inches. I get 0 0.119. So it's with this, it's basically 0 0.12. Still pretty thin. Um, Handle thickness is yeah, 0 0.51 since I did see what it is in grams. It is 125 grams. Uh, yeah, 124.9, one, so 125 grams. Not too bad. Yeah, man. Ergos feel excellent. I don't feel that pocket clip. That pocket clip. 
I can feel that just just a touch. I know it's there, but yeah, that falls in a good spot in my hand. I'm not going to have any issues that I foresee with that pocket clip. That's awesome. Um, do some size comparisons. I brought out a few of my larger knives. You know, there's a <coughs> artisan sea snake fixed blade. It's way smaller than the Praxis. This right here is probably going to be my carry for the day. I know it will be. Um, Spyderco para, Paramilitary 2. Man. Line of pivots up. Looks like. Looks like the practice is a little bit longer than the. PM2. So yeah, that's going to be my. My longest. Knife. Mannix too lightweight. Yet practice is definitely longer. Bring out a couple of Civivis about the newer Brazen. Praxis is lo longer than Brazen. Brazen's got a three and a half inch blade. This has a 3.75 inch. Okay, let's bring out the backlash. Another one of the, the original four Civivi knives. You can see the Praxis is bigger. Um, yeah. The Backlash is still one of my, my favorite Civivis. I really like it. I, I love the finger choil. The thumb groove ramp or whatever you want to call it. Ergos are excellent. Yeah. This is 9CR18MOV also. Like I said, this thing's held up great. I have I haven't sh ever sharpened this. I've strapped it. And I use a ceramic rod. And that's it. It hasn't touched, touched a stone. And this thing is still... It's still... Look at it. Still hair shaving sharp. And this one... Yeah, that is, that is too. So this thing's been easy to keep up. I've used it a ton. I use it a little bit. I strap it. Like I said, I, I ran, ran it on a ceramic stone a couple of times, but that's it. Man, I think the 9CR in this holds up good. It's easy to maintain, so I'm assuming this is going to be the same. I got one other knife out here, though. How about the CJRB Centros? That's a pretty long knife. Um, I don't know the exact specs of it right now, but yeah, that, they're almost exactly the same overall length. Yeah. Obviously, the Centros is a lot thinner profile. But yeah, this is shorter. It's a lot thicker blade stock, and this thing's slicey. So, yeah, might not be my biggest, biggest blade, but it's one of my biggest. But yeah, so far, I'm digging it. Um, like I said, I've always kind of, I've always liked the Praxis. I've always wanted one, but they had gold liners, even on the green, satin blades. Um, I just couldn't bring my, I just didn't like the gold liners. And I happened to see this one. I was searching around, Civivi was having a Father's Day sale, had a lot of distributors. I came across this, I'm... Blade HQ, I'm like, holy cow, black blade, black liners, all black hardware, OD green. I'm like, yeah, I want that. And it was on sale. If you don't know, the originals, when they came out, uh, those two other ones, and they're all $42.50. So this was $42.50. Can't beat the value in that. 
Oh, that's a different backspacer. It came with a black backspacer. I got a different one in there. But, yeah, 4250. And this one is a newer model, the black and everything. And it was on sale for 3750. So I'm like, I just got it, you know. It's a knife I wanted in my Civivi collection since the beginning. And now it's it, it's in a pattern, you know, colorway that I can handle, that I like, and I got it. So, what is it? The f it's June fourteenth. Is recording this video. I think the Civivi sales are going for a while longer. I think maybe to the twenty first. So check them out. A lot of a lot of Savivi knives are on sale. The newer ones are not. Um, the old ones you can get a backlash cheaper, like thirty-seven bucks also. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna carry this, use it, and I'll do another video on it. Like I said, there's hundreds of videos on the Praxis, but you know it's two. It's like two years later. They come out with a lot different knives and a lot more expensive knives. See how this holds up still. I think the backlash still holds up against many of the new ones. And I'm pretty sure this will too. It's a kind of badass looking knife, I think. I'm digging it. But yeah, I guess that's it. It's the Vivi Praxis. An older model, Civivi, 42.50, and it's on sale right now for a couple dollars less. Check it out, and be on the lookout for some kind of follow-up video. And I guess that's it. As usual, if you like these videos, hit the like button, leave a comment. Leave a comment if you got a Praxis, and if you've had it for a while, you still use it. What do you think of it now? And would you buy the old models compared to some of the new ones? You know, this isn't the highest, highest priced newer knife, but it's still pretty sweet. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers, and we can do a lot of different things after a thousand. So. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I guess that's it. Until the next video, bye.